What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic, a wonderful new game that has come out on Wednesday. It is lovely. It's by Axolot Games and it has uh, all kinds of building design. You know what you know what Scrap Mechanic is. I've been working on some stuff and uh, a couple things have worked and the frame rate. I just got done building something and it's a... Uh, it really likes to crush frames. I've been working on some helicopter dynamics here, and I don't know what I'm doing, really. I'm trying to get something going here. Like, for instance, there's a lot of spider webbing going on in any contraption here. Um, but the lift is something that we're really trying to work on. I'm trying to work on the weight and the lift. This, I think these need to be longer. The propellers need to be longer. Because whenever I get into this zone, let's check it out. Okay. Let's see here. This goes this way, and then let's put it back. So that goes. That would technically go up, and then if I hit this, that would technically go down. Correct. Correct. But then, when the propellers, you know, whoa, the frames are real. When looks kind of like that looks really. Uh, that looks like a hate symbol or a love symbol, depending on what time period you're thinking about. Um. There we go. So. Whenever this happens, oh my goodness, that's crazy. So it's supposed to spin, but then once this lifts, that's technically supposed to make it lift off. But it ain't moving. And then it's supposed to take it down. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh, there we go. That's supposed to take it down, and then it doesn't do it. Don't do nothing. It doesn't move. And it's not attached to the ground. I gave it a try. It moved when I had one propeller. Not too. I think it's too heavy. Oh well. But that is not what we are working on today. Today, we got another new little contraption that I made. It has no real reason, rhyme or reason or purpose for anything in this world. Let's open up the doors of Diesel. And we've got the snake. A snake. It's like a little uh, passenger car. Uh, and I wanted it to move a little bit like a snake, and oh, I got a little, we got the little, we got the mouth and we got the fangs, yes, very good, very good indeed. Um, we have three engines, one actually power, one engine powers these four wheels, and these two engines power these wheels, but very, very slowly. Um, over here on the engine, we have this one cranked all the way to, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and these two engines here, they are cranked to only one. It's only meant to give it a little bit of leeway. That's in case if you get any bumps or uh, get any bumps and bruises going on here with your thing, chicken wing. The frames are real. That's something that that's the next thing. The save games. I have not had a problem with the save games in this uh, since the uh, the patch uh, that came out on Tuesday or Wednesday. I have not had any issues, and I'm very happy about that. Axel, they are working diligently on this wonderful game. Um, but also, let's, uh, the reason why the frames are probably a little much. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so the steering column only takes care of these four wheels. So, um, these wheels here are locked, except for I forgot to take that part off there. Um, but what can you do? I'm not, I'm, it, it runs, it works. Also, so we have a, let me just un, un spiderweb all of this. There are four controllers, okay? One controller locks this in place. So, we have a little bearing that's right there. This does not have anything attached to it, but it does have one control. I could have just used one less controller, you know? There's this. What is this? What is this? All right, so this basically spin. Okay, I'm sorry. That, <laughs> all right. Strike that, reverse it. This controller controls this. This one little nub here. This controller controls all of these parts going through to this little bendy bend. This little bend bend right here. Okay. And I lie. This controller actually, okay, let's restart. Strike that, reverse it. This controller controls one, two, right here, three. And you'll see why in a second. And then this controller up top then controls one, two, three, four, 
five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This car. Oh, hold on here. Which one am I going to? Aha, so this one on the bottom controls only this one right there just to keep it locked in place. Now, did I need to have this there at all? No, I could have just, I should have just attached this entire frame to the bottom without having this, but I, I was experimenting and then once I realized the experiment was going wrong, it was going awry, I decided to just add a controller just so that that locks in place. And then this joint right here, this takes, this uh, controller controls the front part of the mouth. So technically, I mean, if you want to get technical about it, this becomes a little bit of a grabber. A little bit, not a whole lot. A little bit, not a whole lot. Let's check it out. So we have a button attached to the front of the snake. Let's check it out. Ah, yeah. And then it closes back up. Ah, I'm gonna bite you, yeah. And then it closes up. That is the only purpose. <laughs> All right, so let's see how this bad boy rolls. They see me rolling. Let's go ahead and we'll zoom out. It's a little top heavy. <laughs> I have not tried to drive this off yet. That is hilarious. And we are stuck. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Do we have enough traction? Do we have enough traction in all the wheels? Do we? And we don't. Well, this is what happens when you don't test stuff before you start recording. So let's just go ahead and we'll put this on the ground. Let's move you. I want to move you. Go ahead and we'll take you down. Boom. All right. Now the reason why I wanted to make this a little bit uh, forward heavy, and we'll see that in a second here. But let's go ahead and we'll try to drive this, John. Now, I wanted to keep that one bearing locked in place so that when we drive, the tail kind of whips around a little bit. Like a snake! It's loosey-goosey. It's a little loosey-goosey. So the back part will weeble wobble kind of like a little snake. So you can add different, you can add more parts to this. The frames are so bad. <laughs> um, so you can add more cars to this if you, if you please. Um, but I just wanted to see if I could do it, and I did it. So I was like, alright, it kind of looks like a little tail of the snake, and that's what I was going for. Except for that part, where it just whips back and forth, although you can have a tail whip. So if you go up against any robots, you can whip your tail back and forth. You whip your tail back and forth. I whip my tail back and forth. Come on now. Alright, let's see if we can get up on this ramp now, now that we got some speed to us. Can we do it? Do we have the power? Oh, oh. I have the power! Boom! Alright, so now let's straighten this jaw out. Can we straighten it out? Are we locked? Are we loaded? Are we ready to go? Ah. See, I haven't locked the wheels up. I need to lock them wheels up, y'all. I do. I really, really do. Really, really, really do. Alright, so let's see here. So now, <clears throat> excuse me. So now, let's go ahead and let's try to straighten this out. Straighten you up. I'll straighten you out. All right. Now, can we try it? Oh, it curls the tail, and then we hit the controller, and it curls, and we're parked. Technically, if you want to be technical about it. There we go. Now it falls down. It does have to be straight. So now we're curled up like a snake, and we're in the park position, just like a regular, like a real snake, like a real boy. So let's go ahead and we'll unfurl it. Flip it over. Whoa! Got some mad hydraulics in this dog. Alright, so let's try this again. This curls it up. And then this lays it down. It's, there we go. Didn't hit the button. Let's try it again. Again! Alright. Okay. Alright, okay. Let's see if we can move this over to here. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hold my hand, man. Hold my hand, man. All right, those wheels need to get straightened out here. And we're stuck again. I keep on forgetting we get stuck here. 
All right, hold on here. All right, so that one that keeps this jaw locked up, that is for this one? No. This one? No, 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 no. All right, so we'll take this. And this is just for my purposes here, just to keep these wheels locked so that they do not turn whatsoever. All right. Because, I mean, we need less frames. <laughs> I mean, what's a game with less frames? Uh, an unplayable one. Uh, no, just messing around. But, like, it's a, it's an issue, especially when people are like me who aren't. I, I'm not very technically minded. I just have these ideas, and uh, I try to go for it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? As, as one should. You should always go for it. Stretch the boundaries. But even just this machine right here is ridiculous. And I understand that. Like, this is all unnecessary. And this thing has, really serves no purpose whatsoever. I just wanted to make a snake, you know what I'm saying? So, let's try this again. It'll curl us up. And then slide, baby. Slide. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Boom. So. We unfurl you. And then we'll slide you. Nice. Let's try it again. See if we can duplicate the... Uh, yeah, forget about backing up, too, by the way. Because the, uh, the tires have no... Tires have a little bit of power, no steering. That uh, is no steering. Where we're going, we're, we don't need roads. So, uh, 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 can we do it? Straighten out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, we flip and we rotate you. Nice. And now we curl it up. We curl the tail up like a snake. Rawr. Raw, 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 raw. <laughs> oh well, it was interesting enough. Hey, it's uh, gonna take up a lot of parking. I'll tell you what. I tell you what. And a little tail. I had a little tail there. So, yes, folks. Whoa, that was a long, slow, floaty jump. That is for sure. So that is my creation for today. I had an idea and I went for it. Got the little, uh, the little crane here. But the only problem is, is that uh, with all the moving parts, like all these moving parts here are absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> I just wanted to, I had this idea in my head and I went for it. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I like the, the, the building aspect of it. And the building aspect of this, you can basically create anything in this game, but they do need to work on the optimization a little bit. Just a tad. Just a smidge, because as you can see, I just made one. I mean, I got a couple contraptions, nothing too nutty. But this one's just a little over the top for what it does, which is nothing. This is all, this is this is just my driving, this is my weekend vehicle. This is my Sunday vehicle, you know? So, you know, I could add some uh, bigger tires. We should probably add some bigger tires. We can do that. That ain't no big thing, chicken wing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the flipping it over and curling the tail, that could be a real issue. It could. So, folks, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, hit like. It helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you like it so much, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time.